to Playa. How have these influences drifted across the African continent? More than 3,000 kilometers further west, in Mali, there is a living culture with a surprisingly similar worldview to that of the ancient Egyptians. The Dogon live in Mali, largely in isolation. Studies of the Dogon culture mirror the ideology of the ancient Egyptians with uncanny precision. I realized through my Dogon studies that there were relationships between Dogon words and Egyptian words, and I noticed that Dogon drawings turned up as glyphs in those Egyptian words. Laird Scranton's radical reinterpretation of Egyptian hieroglyphs came directly from his studies of Dogon cosmological symbols. Their priests use cosmological drawings, symbols they have used for thousands of years. While it is impossible to ask the ancient Egyptians to explain their beliefs, Dogon priests can explain their cosmology and how their symbols are written and pronounced. The Dogon lay things out in such detail that it's like having the teacher's copy of the manual of the book you know, you're studying with, the, with the, the answers to the questions written down in the back. You can go to a Dogon priest or you can go to the anthropological studies that were taken in relation to the Dogon priests and they flat out tell you what their symbol means and what they're, um, you know, what, what they're trying to talk about. The general pattern I, I could say is that Dogen cosmology tells us how a concept should be expressed, how the word should be pronounced, what multiple levels of meaning the word should be associated with, and what kind of a drawing it should be associated with. That predicts for us what we ought to find in Egypt. And so when I go to uh, Egyptian studies, I look at the Egyptian hieroglyphic dictionary or go to a book about Egyptian cosmology, Sure enough, I find the same word expressing the same meanings written with the same drawing or the same drawn character, and I say I've got a match. How is it possible that the Dogon culture in present-day Mali is connected to the ancient Egyptians? What is the link? The Dogon seem to have come out of a class of priests who had very specialized knowledge and who uh, for one reason or another, we're not happy with the way things were going in Egypt and deliberately left. Um, I would say that sounds like it's true. I can't prove it's true, but it doesn't contradict anything I know. The fact that there's a match between the Dogen drawing and the Egyptian glyph in the context of the same word, pronounced the same way, with carrying the same meanings, is just another level of validation that I'm on the right track, that these words really do correspond to each other. Using this new interpretation of hieroglyphic, what can we learn about the ancient Egyptian view of sacred cosmology? I had some concerns um, originally as I began writing some of the books about what right did I have to be revealing secrets that have been kept for 3,000 years. But when I realized that the cosmology is about science, it's about um, the creation of matter and things like that, and I realized how close our science is right now to being um, caught up with what the, uh, the cosmology, the ancient cosmology seemed to know, I realized that if anybody's going to get any benefit out of it at all, that it has to come out now. You can't wait any longer. They're, we're only about 50 years away from discovering all the things that I found in the Dogen and and Egyptian cosmology. Is it possible the ancient Egyptian cosmology was more advanced than today's science? I'd say there is information in the ancient cosmology that would be a benefit to the string theorists and to the, um, the co modern cosmologists if they'd pay attention to it. I think the Dogen and the Egyptians explain to us how it is that a mere act of perception can cause the wave-like behavior of matter to turn into particles, which the scientists don't know. When you ask a 
Stephen Hawking how many fundamental par particles there are, he says more than 200. If you ask a Dogen, Dogen priest, he says 266. Science is on the verge of understanding things that ancient civilizations seemed to know long ago. How is this possible? <laughs>